The admission of the document followed the reappearance of INEC representative Juan Johan Arabs, who brought Adelike's original files containing the certificate he submitted to the Commission in 2018. Recall that during the last sitting of the panel, the Commission had submitted Fink's document as a secondary school certificate of the Governor, a situation that compelled the panel to order that the original file be brought, and if it disobeys, a coercive power will be invoked. Lead counsel to the petitioner Zoe Tola and APC Latifa Bimi SAN said the hearing for today was basically meant for the appearance of INEC representative to produce Adeliki's original file in line with the court order. In response, lead counsel to INEC Henry Aguedo SAN told the court that INEC representative was already present at the sitting with the files containing a clear and legible certificate and testimonial in question, saying he will be willing to apply for the return of the document to INEC after examination. Following the production of the document, the tribunal discharged the INEC official Arabs. Subsequently, Fagbe Miesen sought to tender the document, which contained from CF001 and its attachments, including Adeleke's credentials, affirming that the original file brought to court is a premium evidence and he was comfortable with it. After argument and counter argument on the admissibility of the credentials, the Justice Tetsi Kume led tribunal admitted the credentials and Adeleke's nomination form as Exhibit File D and taken as read. Fagbe informed the panel that he had decided to close his case. After deliberation of the councils, the tribunal adjourned the case to Tuesday, December 20, for the respondents to open their defense. Earlier on, Petitioner's Counsel Fagbemi had informed the panel that the Court of Appeal in Abuja on Friday reverted the judgment of the Federal High Court, which disqualified Boyega Uitala and his running mate Benedict Talabi from contesting the Oshun 2022 governorship election. In Oshobo, Joshua Okuchide, NT News.